Thank you very much for inviting me to your fine country. Thank you for the poutine. It's awesome. I've been here a few times. We don't have it. Where I'm, I love a good snack. We don't have that uh, in America. We do not have uh, poutine in America because uh, our population would die. <laughs> yeah, diabetes is a sport where I'm from. And that's the fun thing about going to other countries is just seeing their stuff. But there's stuff they should tell you about before you travel. There are some things when you get to countries that they did not warn you about that they should have. Last year, I was invited to South Africa. And I'd done a little research. I knew a little bit about South Africa, plus I'm old, so I've lived through some of it. I knew about apartheid, rugby, Mandela. Matt Damon is from there. <laughs> I believe they had Morgan Freeman in a jail for a while. I understood where I was going, and I understood the people. What they didn't tell me about that I was surprised about, and they should let you know that when you are traveling in South Africa, it is possible that when you are there, not in nature, but actually in town, that you will see baboons fucking in the road. <laughs> they should tell you that. Like, they should let you know, like, not, not out in nature, in the road. Like, okay, so here's the deal. So we get to South Africa. The first day, we have a day off. And they're like, go out to Cape Point. It's amazing. Cape Point, it's at the very end of South Africa. It's where they run out of land, and then it's water, and then there's some land on the other side of the earth, I think. <laughs> so I'm like, that sounds fun. So we go out to Cape Point, because it's where the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean come together. I'm like, that sounds exciting. And then you go out there, it's just water. <laughs> That's it. Like, I thought you'd see two oceans, booze, crashing into each other, or making curry or something, but it's nothing. It's just a distinction on a map. It's a made up. It's just a made up thing, like marriage. So, <laughs> it's just a thing we made up and said, That's what that is. All right. So, we're on our way out to see nothing. I'm in a van with two other comics, and there's a sign, and I shit you not, the sign says, Baboons exclamation point. Now, I don't know about Canada, but we don't have punctuation on our signs in America. <laughs> I wish we did. I like the idea of it. Like a sign that says yield, question mark, yield. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You want to? We could. Do you want to? I don't know. Slow down. Go faster. <laughs> or just like Montreal, semicolon. I don't even know what happens after the semicolon. Is there going to be a list? <laughs> so either the punctuation mark was there the exclamation point was there because A, they're as proud to have baboons as you will be to see them, right? Like, baboons! Or B, they, they know they forgot to tell you. You know, like, hey, baboons! Hey! The... Nah, fuck, he didn't hear us. <laughs> and you never see what's on a sign anyway. You never see what's on a sign. Like, have you ever been traveling in a mountain road and it says boulders falling and then there's no boulders? Like, what a rip Don't you wish you just came around a corner and fucking some boulders were coming down? And you're like, yes, it said it was going to be that on the sign. <laughs> awesome, boulders, it said it. I love this. So the point I'm trying to make is I don't expect to see baboons. 500 yards or some amount of meters. <laughs> I could have done the homework, but I slept. In the middle of the road is, for lack of a better description, a couple, <laughs> right? And they're, it's happening, right? They're, they're doing it. So we slam on the brakes, the van skids to a halt, and you know they're almost human, right? So dude's doing it, and he looks at us, he's like, Go around. <laughs> Go around. Could I not be more busy? Go around. Right? Yeah, Africa's my bedroom. Africa, yeah, my, the whole place, my bedroom. But we can't go around because we are in a neighborhood and there's a home over here and there's a parked car over here and there's another car waiting on this side. So now we have to wait. You can't, it's not like they're geese or cattle. You can't just shoo them off the road, they'll come and tear your eye sockets out. So they don't think you're adorable. So we have to watch. <laughs> now I'll be honest with you, I was pretty glad I wasn't turned on. I didn't think I would be, but you never know, <laughs> right? You know how it is, you get older, you get fetishes, you don't know. <laughs> Gotta check with yourself, do I like this? No, whew, good. 
Dude next to me is taking pictures. I'm not judging. <laughs> Dude on the far right is laughing. And I kind of took umbrage at that. I go, are you laughing? Really? Really? Because that's a couple having sex in the middle of the road during the day. That's a solid relationship. <laughs> yeah. Call your wife. So now we have to wait for them to finish. So dude finishes, again, for lack of a better term, has a, a climaxes, I believe. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> wasn't pretty, it was quick. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if she did orgasm at all. I don't know what her experience was at all. There's no way to quantify it from where I was. It definitely didn't seem to be about her sexually. Like there was no, he wasn't helping in any way. You know what I mean? He wasn't, didn't seem to be about her. There's no Fifty Shades of Baboon. There's no, they didn't seem just. But maybe, I don't know, maybe that's the way she likes it, or maybe he was hitting her spot, or maybe she doesn't have the self-esteem to ask for what she wants in the relationship. <laughs> I, I wrote a relationship book. Yeah, okay. So he finishes, and this is how it ends. And he looks at, at us, and then he looks back at her, and he looks at us, and then he pulls a bug off of her back, <laughs> and he eats it. And the dude next to me goes, gross. And I'm like, are you kidding me? That's awesome. They come with their own snacks. <laughs> they come with their own snacks. That's awesome. Look. I'm lucky my wife even lets me touch her, but wouldn't it be great if when we were done having sex, I could just reach behind her ear? Oh, poutine. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I'm staying at a hotel right now. There's no 13th floor because of superstition. But come on, man, the people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you really are. on. <laughs> like, it's not hard enough to sleep in a hotel room knowing they wash that bedspread once every never. I've seen enough CSI 